Hey there, my Stampin' Friends. Susan here at Pumpkin Hill Stampers. So I have a Stampin' Show and Tell for you today, and actually this one is going to be made with a bunch of leftover parts that I've had from other projects um, that were laying around on my table. So last week I shared the Caring Leave stamp set with you guys, and I did an embossed card. Well, I took those same leaves, two-step stamped them, embossed them with gold, and then I took the time to trim them all out as individual elements. So that's where these have come from. Okay, and you'll see a card in a few weeks where I've made a whole nother swap with those. Um, and then I have this Leaf Ball embossing folder, which is an online exclusive. I've had it for a while now. Um, and I decided to pair those things together. And then I've got my gold um, dots that are in the Ball catalog. And I'm going to use these as an additional embellishment, if I can get them out. There we go. Additional embellishment, embellishment on the card. So I'm just taking things that are pre-stamped and ready to go and pairing them with an embossing folder and then putting it together. Okay, so this will be quick and easy. So of course you could use any textured fold you want or you could leave it plain, totally up to you. Um, but I've just run that through my embossing folder and cut it, scored it in half so I have a regular size uh, card there. Now I could do this in any direction. I could go up and down. I could go side to side. I think I'm going to go side to side. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to pop up my sentiment in the center. Okay, I'm going to do a center focal point. But I want to be able to put these leaves um, kind of tucked behind. So I'm going to start by popping this up on a couple of dimensionals. Just so that I have my center position marked out. So you could use any size sentiment or center element. Um, I'm just using my sentiment that was left over. Okay, so there's that. So now the idea is that I'm going to take some... I'm going to take some glue dots. I was going to say liquid glue, but I'm going to go with glue dots because they're a little more forgiving if I want to move things around. So I'm going to put some glue dots on my stamped elements so that I can just peel and stick as I go. So I've got three that are done in the um, Cajun Craze, and I have five, well, actually six done that are done in the Old Olive, but I'm going to go with odd numbers. So I've got uh, five and three. All right, so if I'm going to start with the Cajun Craze, I'm going to go ahead and put it over here, because I only have three of them. And I'm going to put this one kind of off there, and I'm going to put one more underneath, I think. Okay. And then, because I have lots of green, I'm going to kind of put these tucked behind because we're going to see a lot of that color. So I just kind of put these in, kind of making like a loose wreath kind of idea. All right, I'm just encircling our sentiment with some fall embossed leaves. Meanwhile, I've still got this whole background um, behind. So let's see. Go another one, I think. Uh, do I want to put two? I'm going to squish this one over. So now this is where the glue dots come in handy, that they're forgiving. You can just kind of pull them up and reposition them. So, let's see. I'm going to put this one down first. And then I'll put this one over the top. I'm going to put another glue dot on there, just to make sure it's good and sticky. Because, see, when I took it off, it has a little bit of that paper on it. So I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to stay where I put it. I'm just going to put that one there, kind of over the top of those two. Yeah, it looks a little off, right? So we think I need another little offset. I don't really want to go up and down. I want to do a whole bunch of green over here. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. No, nope, I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. So here's this, and then there's that. Maybe I want to give this a little more space over here. A little more yellow in between the two sections. So I'm just going to shift these around, push them back down. There, that's better. A little more spread out. And that's it. That's it all I did, guys. So I have a die cut tag that's from Stylish Shaped Eyes. I did the embossing folder with Leaf Fall. And I did two step stamping on very vanilla, trimmed them out and I embossed with gold. And then let's see, do we need these dots? Got these dots. These are the gold 
gold textured adhesive back dots that are from the fall catalog. And I could. Let's just do a pet set in here. So I got a little one there, a medium sized one down there, and I'll put a big one over here. So kind of like in a triangle. So it kind of offsets a little bit. And that's it. Simple, easy peasy. So I hope you enjoyed the project today. Do some fun, easy stamping and enjoy those fall uh, stamps and papers that you have in your collections. And I'll stamp again with you real soon. Have a great day. Bye.